Hello, bonjour. I'm Crandall. I decided to paint the same picture 25 days in a row. Uh, and I don't know how to paint or draw. So this has been my experience. Little history. Uh, I was mediocre uh, art student in high school. And that was probably the last time I painted or drew anything. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm going to try this watercolor thing. So I got this. Uh, I think it's literally from the dollar store. Uh, I didn't I didn't like it. I definitely threw away the brush. Actually, I think these brushes that I ended up using are also from the dollar store. <laughs> But I also had some random brushes that I just would use. Anyway, oh. So I got this. I started looking at um, tutorials on YouTube with not great results because I don't know how to paint. So I'll just flip through some of these. If you look up uh, watercolor tutorials on YouTube, you'll recognize <laughs> some of the, <laughs> some experiments, you know. Um, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure what that is. I call this one um, Shapes I Remember from junior high art class. This is, <laughs> Sheep and sheep and hills. Oh, this was a failed reflection. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, after I was disappointed with the quality of my palette, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade. So I got this, which was better for sure. It was better. And I got this little palette, Oop. which I didn't really need, I guess. I don't know. For mixing colors, it was fine. But anyway, so this is uh, an upgrade. But even after using this, I said, you know what? I find it really hard to like build up color to make it really vibrant and I don't know it annoyed me so so then I upgraded to, to the tubes pretty good price I think for all these colors and as you can see I just kind of plop them all in in order in my palette and then I just use these so with these new paints I said you know what let's if we're doing this let's do it I'm gonna give myself a challenge for 25 days I'm gonna paint the same picture and see if I can actually get better because my art level as you saw was zero zero so, with, with researching and trying to learn about how to do watercolors, um, I learned that it's basically, a lot of people say you gotta do washes, you gotta build up you, your values, you have to learn how to see values so that you can paint values. So I thought if I used a black and white picture for this experiment, uh, that would be probably best for uh, easiest way to, to pick out values and not have to worry about matching colors as well. So then I was like, well, what black and white picture do I want to look at every day for an hour a day for 25 days? This is the pitch, the, uh, <laughs> this is the paper I used. It was, it was fine. Oh, my girl. 
beautiful Lily, 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 Lily love. Beautiful Lillian Gish. I think she's just so beautiful. I think this picture is so beautiful. So I thought, this is it. It's black and white. I can definitely look at it every day. And uh, I wouldn't mind it if I could get anywhere near this kind of uh, beautiful picture. I decided just to, you know, basically use this much. Because there's a lot. I can't do all that. Come on now. But she's lovely. So let's uh let's get into it. <laughs> Let me just flip it over correctly. Okay, here we go. Here's attempt one. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell is that? And let me just remind you. Oh sorry Lil. So, um I I I I tried. I, I, I wasn't satisfied with that, so let's go on to number two. Number two is a little better, I feel like, um, but still, it's not great. Now, the thing that happened with this one, and I know this one's really bad, is that I ran out of paper, and I had to try to use a different paper. Let's see if I can find the paper I switched to. This? I think it was this one. This is not good for um, watercolor, or at least not at my level of watercolor. I just found it like as soon as you put that, uh, as soon as you put that paint down, as soon as you put that paint down, it stuck. Like it did not want to jiggle and wiggle around, and uh, so this—that's what happened here. <laughs> not good. So I, I tried again with that same paper, thinking, well, if I just really tried harder or whatever, it would, uh, n but no. I mean, it's better, it's better than that, kind of, in a way. But no, it still, it was no good. So I got some um, watercolor paper from the dollar store. And I thought, you know, I, I should do like a full wash. I should try the wash thing. And I decided not to use any um, white space in the actual picture. <laughs> and I don't think it's very good. Plus, why are her eyes so big? But anyway, what number was that? I have them on the back. That was number five. On to number six. I thought, I thought her lips turned out pretty fun. Um, still not great but also I think this was uh, the beginning of me saying I have to know how because the eyes are so big <laughs> that I was like okay I need to know how to draw a head because I don't know how to draw a head okay so this is when I experimented with the Loomis method uh, still not great but still uh, I, I think it's better and then we have this which is uh, I mean, <laughs> she's not <laughs> she's not great, but I do include a lot of white um, space there, so that's good. The eyes are super wonky and not not great. Oh, speaking of wonky eyes, oh poor thing. Hers are very bad. She's very crookedy, but you know, let's you know keep trying. This, this is only number eight. Of 25 so let's see <laughs> okay well this one I think is painted a little better number nine let's see what's on the back yeah see on the back I was experimenting with how to do the lips because I was like well let's see if I can get them lips the right shape anyway um, I think it's okay um, yeah so it's I think that's improvement especially when you look at like I don't know the second one it's it's you can tell I'm, I'm learning okay next okay this day I decided I would stop trying to blend everything and just actually try to plonk down some very obvious washes and layers and values 
Um, not sure I super duper succeeded at doing well, but I thought I have to, like, this is the point of what I'm doing. Again, eyes are too big. I mean, there's many things to say about it. <laughs> Next. Okay, so I was given the advice that remember that eyeballs are circles. So kind of shade them and treat them like they are circles. So that's my beginning of doing that in this picture. Um, you know, her eyes are too big. It's, it's not, it's not good. It doesn't look like what I was trying to do. Next. Now, I think this is the first one where the eyes are actually a reasonable size. So that's good. And I feel like the shading like here is better. What day is this? 12, day 12. It's okay. It's oh, it's better. This one actually I think is cute. I think it's nice. I mean, is it still shitty? Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this one has some good personality. I feel like I'm starting to understand um, shading eyeballs. And uh, again, I, I like that the eyeballs are a reasonable shape, size, and angle. So I don't mind her. She's cute. Now this is another one where I thought I have to get back to what I was trying to do, just do really harsh and obvious, um, I don't know, gr gradation, just not smooth it out, not try to smooth it out, which is something I found I was obsessing over. <laughs> but anyway, I think she's cute. I think she, I mean, her eyes are wonky. She's kind of cross-eyed or wall-eyed or whatever, and, uh, but I think she has a nice personality. Uh, this one, I don't know. I feel like this one's kind of dead inside. There's just nothing there. Again, it's it's better, but I feel like this one was kind of a not great improvement. Oh, this one, oh my God. Uh, this one, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to do the wet on wet because a lot of people say start with wet on wet and just kind of blop and blip and sloopy de doop and I, and I, I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> Cause I guess generally what I do is I kind of put the, the paint down and then kind of wiggle it out with some water. And that's probably not what you're supposed to do. So I was trying to do what you're supposed to do, but I think this one, uh, it displeased me. And I think her eyes are getting too big again. <laughs> oh, this one, I think she's cute. I mean, is it good or perfect? No. But I don't know, this one, When I, I like this one. I feel like she has some personality as well. And uh, yeah, she could be better, but she's cute. Uh, this one, this one I think of as like the vampire. I think she looks like a vampire. And I don't really like that. <laughs> but you know, she's better. We're always just getting better. Wait, what number? Her eyes got big again. This is number 19. Um, I mean, at a certain point, you kind of start feeling like you're improving very slightly. Like, if you look at number 19 versus... I'll pick one randomly. Do, 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 do. Oh, here, even another pink one. Number 9. It's better, but... I don't know. I feel like I'm circling the drain sometimes with these later ones. Like where it's like, oh, it's a little better, but maybe I've hit the ceiling of what I can do. <laughs> but let's see what's next. Ah, she cute. Number 20. So, um, yeah, I like this one. She looks scared, kind of, but I don't know. It's cute. The thing I don't like a lot about this is the shading here. I think I really fucked that up. I should have kept the darkest shading here. I don't know. She's cute. I like her eyes. But anyway, next. Okay. <laughs> All right, this one. <laughs> okay, so as you can see from the lines, I thought, you know, to fix my drawing problems because like I said I don't draw I don't paint I don't know what the fuck I'm doing 
I'll just do a grid, right? That makes sense. Like a grid. It should be perfect. I think she's wonky. I think she looks like she's like, eh. I don't know. It's something weird about her pushed in mouth. There's, I don't know if that's my shading or the grid. Anyway, I was like, maybe, maybe grid is not for me, but, but you know what? Let's try again. And I tried to grid again. And I, this is my least favorite of all the pictures. <laughs> I think she looks like a dude. And uh, that's not the look I was going for. So I abandoned the grid after this one. Although I think her eyes are nice. Like I think they look um, wet. I like that eye. I think it's cute. And I also tried to do eyelashes, which I don't think worked out very well. So next. <laughs> All right, this one I like. I call her a bit. She looks like jam to me. Her hair is very gem, gem-like. What number is? Gotta be near the end. 23. All right, so, I mean, she's fine. I'm glad I stopped doing the, the grid. The grid just wasn't for me, maybe because I'm not exact enough, but it's fine. Um, I always find that it gets really like muddy and, and weird in the places where I'm working the paint the most, obviously. So I don't know, something to work on. <laughs> number 24 um I just I looked up how to do hair because I thought well this is almost over I should probably actually try to do the hair <laughs> better I mean her eyes are really wonky I think her lips are cute the hair is a step forward in hair painting so that's good but again it's like it's weird and, and kind of muddy that might be um, the paper I use, and then da 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 the last one. Now, all I I the texture of the this is usually the side I was painting on, and I changed it for the last one to see if I could get rid of some of the muddiness that was always bothering me, and I think I think it I did. <laughs> it's not perfect. It doesn't really look like Lillian Gish. Again, I was trying to do hair stuff um not super great let's just bring out lil oh no <laughs> oh she's so pretty but uh yeah it doesn't really didn't really nail it but it's fine so i guess what i'm saying is um If you want to do something, just do it. Like every day I tried to improve and figure out one thing I could work on where it's like, okay, well, I, the eyes are too big or, you know, maybe today I'll try to do hair or whatever. So just try it. Do it 25 days or whatever and the thing is this is not my thing like if, if i was going to continue doing these um i would probably learn the actual structure of the skull because i'm really sick and tired of the eyeballs getting bigger and smaller and being crooked and, blah, 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 and it's just like ugh. so if i could if i was going to continue which i am not because it's a lot <laughs> It's a lot of work. It's a lot of time. The, the hardest part is finding the time. Like it took me, and I was trying on these early ones. Look how bad they are. But anyway, just give it a try. Just do. Oh, horrible. She's so scary. Ta-da. Oh my. 